We're gonna hit most muscle groups, uh, if not all muscle groups. Uh, we're gonna start off with a little bit of a warm up. Um, I'm gonna do that seated, sitting down. If you prefer, you can do most of the action standing up, but I'm gonna err to the side of caution and do it seated this morning. Um, then we'll take it into just two or three balance exercises to challenge our balance. And then after that, we'll be getting into more um, resistance training, strength training, and toward the end of the program, we'll do a four or five minute cool down. So stretching and flexibility. Um, because some of you are new to the class, I need everybody to just be aware of, of any pains or aches that they're feeling in their body. I need everybody to work to their own, um, their own condition, their, what their body is able to do. So if there's something that I'm asking you to do and you know your body is just not able to do it or is not supposed to do it, don't do that type of exercise, all right? Aaron will actually be watching. So if you need some ideas on differences, different ways you can do a particular exercise because of a particular condition you may have, um, then we can offer some suggestions on that, all right? Uh, I'm going to actually provide some background music. If at any point in time you find the music is too overwhelming or you can't hear me, um, just throw a message into the chat or try to get Erin's attention, waving frantically or something like that. <laughs> um, so she can ask me to either turn the music down or, or turn the music off. All right. So we'll get started. I'm going to have everybody sit down. I'm just going to start my music. All right, so in our seats, nice and tall. We're just gonna start warming up the joints, warming up the muscles. Nice tight core, shoulders are up, down and back. We're gonna start tapping the fingers and toes. And we're gonna bring the heels and palms up next. smaller joints first, wrists and ankles. We're going to start tapping the toes out to the side. And let's take the heels out next. few other welcomes that have just joined us we've had sue join us we've had we have linda join us and we have brooks join us so welcome nice to see you guys this morning all right we're going to march it out wide so wide and in right left and in right Bicep curl, arms down to the sides. We're going to raise right and left. And right and left. As we march seated, do 
may feel that your thighs are getting a little bit tired. Try to keep going, don't stop. If the thigh is getting too tired, you can actually just tap the toes like this. All right, let's march in place. All right, we're gonna bring the arms a little bit higher into the side. Let's take it to the right, right? And if it doesn't make you dizzy, you can turn the head slightly in the direction as you straighten the arm. And let's march. All right, we're gonna add in a nice push to the front as we march in place. Okay, we're gonna push and pull and push. As I push, I'm stretching the fingers way out, making a tight fist as it comes closer to the body. Two, and one. Good, let's march it out. All right, we're gonna reach up above the head next, one arm at a time. Right side first. Let's take it up and up. Two and one. Good. We're going to march and arms down to the sides. We're going to shrug the shoulders up and down and up. And down. And try to keep marching if you can. If your thighs are getting tired, you can start tapping the toes, but try to keep moving. Up and down. Good. Up and down. And one more. Up and down. Good. All right. We're going to stop with our march now. All right. Um, we're going to take it into some balance work. So before we do that, we're going to do one strengthening exercise while we're still sitting down. We're going to do a sit to stand. So we're going to take our feet out a little bit wider apart. So I'm actually going to fan out my toes, fan out my heels, fan out my toes. My feet are pointing a little bit out to the corners. Knees stay above the ankles. If you're able to, arms across the chest. Or if you need a bit of assistance, you can push off, off of your thighs. So we're going to get up slowly out of our chairs and come back down to sitting. Make sure your chair stays underneath you. You may want to place it against a wall or against the desk. And down. And up. And down. Try not to let yourself fall back down into your chair. Use a nice controlled movement. To let yourself slowly come back down so your bottom's in the chair. And then back up. And down. And up. We're going to try four more of those. One. Two. Three. And four. And we're going to stay standing. You can let the arms come down to the side. Bring the feet back in close together. Just a gentle march. So Corey, I was watching, everyone's doing well. We have Judy in a sling who is modifying. So well done for joining us today, because that's not easy. Um, the one thing I would say is if you have issues with your low back, go nice and wide with the leg before you get up. That's gonna ease any pressure that goes onto your back. And if you wanna make this more difficult, go slower. If you wanna make it easier, go a little bit quicker on that standing up and sitting down. Excellent. All right, we're going to do some balance work before we get into more resistance training with the lower extremities, just so our legs aren't too tired. So I'm going to have you come to the side of the chair you can hold on to with your left hand. So consider me your mirror. If I'm referring to your left and your right, it's always your left and right, not mine, right? It's like you're looking at a mirror. So we're going to start off balancing on the left foot, which is closest to the chair. You can hang on to the chair if you need to for support. 
And what we're gonna do is bring our right leg, right lower leg, up behind us. And we're gonna try to balance on that left leg. And if you find that you can do it without holding on, or maybe just a finger, you can try that. Arms down to the sides. And we're just gonna hold it. For approximately 15 seconds. We'll see how far we can get. And if you need to touch the chair at any time, feel free. Let's try to hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and bring the foot back down. Both feet are on the floor. Good, we're just gonna march it out. All right. So when you're working on your balance, as you decrease your base of support, your balance uh, is more challenged. So base of support is the space that you take up on the floor. So my, my base of support is wide here. As I bring my feet back in together, it becomes narrower and more challenging for me to balance. We're going to try one that actually challenges the basis, uh, challenges the balance um, quite hard. We're going to take our foot, right foot, one foot in front of the other, my right foot in front of my left. So this is a tandem stance. And we're just going to hold it there. You can hold on to the chair. Put a finger on the chair. You can widen the stance a little bit if you're finding one foot right in front of the other too hard. And we're gonna to try to hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Good, take your feet apart, side by side. We're gonna build on that one. So we're gonna make it a little bit harder. Let's take the right foot in front of the left again. But this time, we're gonna shift our weight to our front foot just by bending that front knee slightly. Again, chair close by if you need it. You can keep the feet staggered if you need to. And we're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one. Good, bring the weight back to both feet. Feet side by side, and we're gonna march. All right, we're gonna try what's called a dynamic balance exercise. We're gonna add some movement into um, to the activity. We're going to be lunging forward and to the side. And we're always going to come back to center to restabilize ourselves. So I'm going to be lunging with the right foot, right leg this time. And again, you can hold on to the chair if you need to. I'm going to stop with my march. And we're just going to take a step forward. Weight comes to the front foot. And then push with that front foot back. And let's try that again. Lunge forward, weight goes to the front foot. Push back. Lunge forward and push back. Nice upright torso, so try not to lean forward and look down. You want to stay nice and upright and push back. And one more time. Let's lunge forward and push back. Good, all right. And let's march it in. We're going to take it to a different direction. So it's a lunge again, but this time we're going to go out a little bit on a diagonal. So it's the front corner on the right side. And we're going to push back, all right? So let's take a step out to the front corner on the right, into a lunge, and push back. Front corner on the right, and push back. And to the right, and push back. And maybe you can only go here, and push back. Or here, and push back. But the goal is to try Take enough weight, take as big a step as you can, that you're challenging your balance, all right? Your ability to recover. One more, and step back. Good, we're gonna march it out. So Corey, those looked good. I would just make sure that it's different. The front step out should look different than the side step out. They're, do, they're working different muscles. Yeah. And um, the other person, Nancy, looks like you're got, gotten so much stronger, Nancy, in your recovery. I'm so impressed. Amazing. <laughs> That's Thank awesome. You. You're welcome. All right. So we've done all of that on our left leg and our right leg is to the side. We have to do it to the other side as well, too. Remember, exercise is all about balance. Uh, balancing both sides, front and back, from that perspective. So this time, you're going to try to balance on your right foot. So my right hand is close to the chair in case I need to grab on. I'll be lifting my left leg up and behind to balance on the right foot. So left leg comes up, balancing behind. And remember, you can hold on to the chair or you 
can try it with just a finger or no hands on the chair, maybe hands on the hips. And we're gonna to try to see if we can hold it for approximately 15 seconds. And your balance may be, may be really good. Uh, and you can hold this for 30 seconds or more. That, that's great. Um, but if you can hold it, if you're holding it less than 30 seconds, you may want to try to focus on, on, on improving that figure. That balance. We're going to bring that foot down, and we're just going to arch it in. So let's try to take it into a tandem stance again. So remember, that was one foot in front of the other. So this time, we're going to take our left foot, your left foot in front of your right, one foot in front of the other. We're just going to stand there. You may need to hold on to the chair. If you need to, you can widen the stance a little bit more, widen that base of support, make it more stable. But if you're able, let's try to do one foot in front of the other. Okay, we're just going to hold it. Don't worry about shifting the weight yet. We're going to do that next. Good. Let's hold for five, four, three, two, one. Feet come apart slightly. And we're going to merge it. All right. So now we're going to try to do that tandem stance again, but we're going to add in a weight shift to the front. So, left foot in front of the right, heel to toe, one foot in front of the other. Let's try to take that, take our weight, body weight to the front foot by bending that front knee slightly, and we're going to hold. And remember, upper body is nice and upright. Try not to be looking down at the ground because that's going to cause you to want to go forward. So nice and upright. And we're going to hold for five, four, three, one, weight comes back to both feet, and side by side. Pretty much. All right, now we're going to try those lunges again. So we're, we're going to be lunging forward with the left leg. So make sure your weight, your body weight, comes to that left leg. You want to make sure you're stepping far enough ahead that that's, that the, that's going to happen. Close to your chair, let's lunge forward with that left leg. Body weight's on the, the front leg, and we're gonna push back. So lunging forward, and push back. And forward, and back. And it may be, for you, a smaller step, and back. Or it may be a, a wider step, and push back. We're gonna try that two more times. Stepping forward, and push back. And one more time, and push back. Good. All right, so this time we're taking it out to the front corner on a diagonal. So not straight ahead, but we're taking the leg out a little bit to the side, so that front corner. Okay, so as Aaron was mentioning, working different muscles, working in different planes of movement. So let's take it out to the front corner and step back. And again, it may be a small step for you, but weights on that leading leg, leg and step back. And out to the corner. Back, nice and upright posture. Corner and back. Corner and back. Let's try a couple more times. Corner and back. And one more time. Corner and back. Good. All right. Let's merge it. Corey, is, okay. this, is the music skipping for you a little bit? Um, it doesn't sound like it. Maybe it's a Zoom uh, issue. Maybe it's me. <laughs> I'll put it on the next song. I guess. Just to see. Yeah, that's better. Is that better? Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're done with the balance portion. Although a lot of the strength exercises um, incorporates balance work as well too. Um, we're going to be taking it into um, some knee lifts to the front. We're going to do that standing. Um, if you're getting tired, you can also do this one sitting down as well too. Um, but if you have ankle weights with you, I'd like you to actually put your ankle weights on. So maybe Aaron can just let me know. Um, I'll, I'll give people 30 seconds, a minute, to just throw their ankle weights on. For those of you that are putting ankle weights on, maybe take the opportunity to grab a drink. So it looks like we have uh two people that I can see putting Nancy, Nancy and uh, Judy, I think, are putting them on. Okay. And everyone else is just grabbing their drinks, I think. All right. Maybe Pam, too. I don't know. I can't quite see her. <laughs> she got boxes. All right. 
So when everyone's ready, when you've had your drink and when you've got your ankle weights on, we're gonna to come to the side of the chair that we can hold on to with the left hand in. And for this one, feel free to keep holding on to the chair. It's less about balance for this activity, it's more about using the muscles through the front of the hip. So we're gonna do a hip flexor exercise. And it's called knee raise to the front. And we're gonna try a set of 10 on each side. Okay, look up okay, Aaron. Okay, good, all right. So nice and tall through the upper body. Core is engaged, belly button is fine. Shoulders are up, down and back. Chin is tucked in. We're gonna raise the right knee up to the front. So thighs parallel to the floor and come back down slowly. And that's one. So we're gonna come up, thigh parallel and back down slowly. And up. And number four, and then, and five, and down, and six, and down, and seven, and down. I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see me as well too. And eight, and down. So Corey, everyone looks good. The one thing, a few people look like they might be shifting their weight back, kind of leaning back. So just make okay. sure you keep your weight centered in that balanced foot. Okay. All right, we're gonna march it out. So that was our set of 10. So on the left foot, the foot that we're, we're um, supporting our weight on, or the body weight when you're bringing the knee up, make sure your, your weight's not to the front or not to the back. You want your weight over the whole foot. First foot, all right? Let's take it to the other side. So you can hold on to the chair with your left hand. For your right hand, we're gonna be taking the left leg up to the front. So nice and tall through the torso, belly button is in, shoulders are up, back and down. Again, you can use the chair for support. Let's bring that left leg slowly up to the front. Pause and back down. And if you're comfortable with it, if you're comfortable with your balance, you can place the hands on the hips come back down slowly and up and down but if placing the hands on the hips causes you to go into improper form I would prefer you hold on to the chair and down up and down Good. we're gonna try five more up and down and four more up and down and three more, up and down. You should feel this through the front of the thigh toward the hip. Two more, up and down. And one more, up and down. Good, let's march it up. All right, so we're gonna work our hamstrings next. The large muscle at the back of the, at the, back of the thigh. We're gonna come back to the other side of the chair. You're gonna work your right hamstring first. Again, you can hold on to the chair if you need balance, um, if you need it for support through your balance. For this one, we're gonna be curling the leg up behind, so your foot's gonna to come to your bottom. But what I would like you to try to avoid doing, and Aaron's gonna watch for it, is any movement at the hip. So do not, try not to bend at the hip and bring the leg up. What we want to try to do is keep the thighs and the knees together and you're just curling your right leg up at the knee. My thighs are together and back down. And you should feel it in the large muscle in the back of the leg, right? We're gonna try 10 of those. I'm gonna stay sideways just so you can see me. Nice and tall, stomach is in, shoulders are up, back and down. Let's take that right leg back, pause, and relax. Good, and number two, up, pause, and relax. And three, up, pause, and relax. And four, and down. And five, and down. And six, and down. And seven, and down. 
Okay, so tempo is a big thing. The slower the tempo, the harder the exercise is. So try not to use momentum, try not to kick. Up and down. And one last one, we'll take it up and back down. And where I'm hoping you felt that one, you should, if we were doing it correctly, is in through the back of the thigh, through your hamstrings, right? How did the form look on that one, Erin? Yeah, people are getting used to that one because uh, everyone seemed to have their, their knees in line. The people that I could yeah. see, they had their knees in line, yeah. All right, so let's take it to the other side of the chair, the ch side you can hold on to you with your left hand, right hand, sorry. We're gonna work the left leg next. So feet, knees, thighs together, nice and tall. Stomach is in, shoulders are up, back and down. Let's take the left leg up behind, foot to bottom, and relax. And up. And down. And up. A little bit of a pause. And down. And number four. Up. And down. And five. Up. And down. And six. Up. And down. And seven. Up. And down. Eight, up, and down. Just a couple more, everybody's doing great. Up, and down, and one more. Up, and down. Good, we're gonna march it out. All right, we're gonna bring it around to the front of our chair again. So by now your lower body, your legs, might be getting a little bit tired. We've done a lot of work standing. We did our sit to stands, um, some balance work, and focus primarily on hip flexors, hamstrings. I'd like to try to do another set of, in this case, stand to sits instead of sit to stands because we're already standing up. Um, if you are too tired for that, and, you, and Aaron's gonna watch, if your form starts to suffer, I just need you to sit down and have a bit of a break. All right? But if you wanna try it, we're gonna try 10. We're gonna end sitting down on the last one. So let's take the feet a little bit wider apart. Good shoulder width. Toes are pointing out. Make sure your chair is behind you and it's not going to fly up from underneath if you sit. Chest and head remain up. Arms across the chest. We're going to go down slowly, almost to our chair this time, but not quite sitting down. And come back up. Pushing the weight through the heels. Try not to let your toes come up off the floor. Down and up. Good. Head and chest stay up. So no looking down at the ground. Head and chest stay up. And down. Good. Four. And up. And five. And up. And six. Nice and slow. And up. And seven. And up, and if you find it coming, uh, if you find it hard to go all the way down to the chair, maybe you do halfway down. And up. And nine. And up. All right. This time we're gonna go all the way down into the chair, nice and slow, slow, slow. Have a seat. Make sure the chair's behind you, of course, before you sit. All right. Uncross the arms. Warm up was okay on that one, Aaron. Yeah, format looked good. Um, just make sure it's always tempting to kind of go forward too much. So thinking about sinking the weight into the heels, like uh, Mira, just make sure you're sinking your weight into the heels so that your chest doesn't go forward too much. But yeah, in general, it looked good. Good, excellent. All right. Um, so if you have a drink close by, I would like you to remind you to grab a drink. Make sure you stay hydrated. And we're going to take it into some upper body work. So we're going to use our bands. So I'll have you bring your bands um, around and up underneath the arms. I'm going to use my green bands to contrast against my red shirt so you can see what I'm doing. But if you've been working with one of the instructors, you know what resistance level you should be using. So use the corresponding color. All right. So we're going to be working the chest um, and triceps as well too in this exercise. So stomach is in, shoulders are up, back and down. Nice proper posture, chin tucked back. 
Let's extend the arms out to the front slowly. Slight bend to the elbow and relax. So bend out to the front slowly. Slight bend to the elbow and relax. Breathing in and exhale on the exertion. Breathing in and blow it Good. Breathing in and blow it out. Good. We're going to try five more of those. Let's take it out to the front. Slight pause and back in. And four more. Out and pause. Good. Breathing in. Exhale on exertion. Three more. And in. And two. And in. And last one. And in. Good. So, Ready? Corey. Yeah. The, sorry, the technique on that looked good. A few of you probably need more challenge. You need to tighten the band because the band looks kind of loose on the way coming back in. So, Mom, I would put you in that category, maybe a little tighter on that band. <laughs> so, if, if Aaron's correct, if you're starting out here and the band's already loose, you, if you can see, the band's a little bit loose under my arms. You're not going to get full resistance to the full range for the exercise. So you want the bands already kind of tight, you want the bands tight um, when your arms are close to your body so that you get maximum resistance when you're extended, right? So we're just going to drape the bands behind us. We're going to use them again in a moment. Let's do um, a simple straight leg raise to the front. So this is going to work our quads. So we're talking before about um, balance as with respect to working all parts of the body. So before we work our hamstrings, the back of the upper leg, now we're going to work the front of the upper leg. So quads, right? Simple leg, leg raise to the front. You're going to notice this if you have your ankle weights on, it's going to be a little bit harder. Okay, so move the right side first. Let's bring the right leg straight up to the front and pause and come back down. And if you place your hand on that the top of the right thigh, you can actually feel the muscle contracting. That's the quad muscle level. We're going to bring the leg up and pause and relax. And number four, up and pause and relax. And number five, up pause and relax. And six, pause and relax. And seven, pause. Relax. Good. Eight. And relax. Only two more left. Nine. And relax. And ten. And relax. Good. We're going to just tap that in. So if you find that it's too easy to do with just your own body weight, with no weights at all, that's when you start adding in resistance. So ankle weights, you start using bands. You can start slowing the tempo down so it makes it harder for you, or you can start doing more of that, so maybe 12 or 15, working on endurance as opposed to stick. Right? Let's take it to the left leg. So nice and tall, stomach is in, shoulders are up, back and down, proper posture. Straighten the left leg out. Pause and come back down. Straighten and back down. Again, if you place the hand on your left thigh, you should feel that muscle contracting. Seven, up, and down, and eight, up, and down. We're going to try two more. Nine, and down, and one more. Ten, and down. Good, just tap it in. All right, we're going to work um, the top of the shoulders, a little bit through the upper back. We're going to bring the bands around to the front. So if you have shoulder issues, I would suggest you swap up to using no band um, or uh, dumbbells that you can do each arm individually, all right? 
I'm going to use the band today. Um, so we're going to place the band underneath the feet at the front. Legs are about hip width apart. Knees are bent. I'm going to make an X in front of my shins with the band. So swapping hands, X. I'm going to bring the bands inside the thighs, nice and tall. Stomach is in, shoulders are up, back, and down. All right, this is where the work comes in. We're gonna draw the elbows out to the side until our upper arms are just parallel with the shoulders, and then relax. So think of leading with the elbows up, your hands are just following, and relax. If you experience any pain through the shoulders, discontinue this exercise, and relax. And up. And relax. And number five, up. And relax. And number six, up. And relax. We're gonna try four more. Seven. And relax. And eight. And relax. And nine. And relax. And last one, 10. And relax. Good, we're gonna unwrap the band. Keep the band close by. Or if you're using ankle weights, you may decide that the ankle weights are enough for this next exercise. We're actually gonna combine a couple of different movements. We're gonna combine bending at the hip with straightening at the knee. So we're again working um, the whole the whole leg. So we're going to start right side first. I'm going to turn my chair slightly to the side so you can see how I'm doing it. We're sitting toward the front of our chair. Not so far to the front that you feel tippy. We're going to place the band underneath the right foot, under the arch of the foot. Arms stay tucked into the side. So my elbows are close to my side. My arms aren't going to move back and forth. They're providing an anchor for the band. All right, you should have resistance in the band already. We're gonna straighten that right leg. Push to the front, slight bend to the knee still, and relax. And push, and relax. So try not to move the upper body either. So no uh, coming forward or leaning back as the leg comes back and forth. Push, and relax. Good. Push and relax. We're going to try five more of those. Push and relax. And four more. Push and relax. And three more. Push and relax. And two. Push and relax. And last one. Push and relax. Good. Now you can let the band loosen up, let the foot come back down to the floor. We're going to do the other side. So let's take the band to the other side. If you're using ankle weights, you may find that the ankle weight is already providing you with enough resistance um, that you don't have to use the band. And if you're using both, that's great. You're using even more resistance with the opportunity for even more strengthening. So nice and tall through the torso, elbows to the side, upper arms to the side, leg is bent at the knee and the hip. We're gonna straighten that left leg, slight bend to the knee still, so soft knee, and up. And push, and up. And push, and up. Good, number four, remember to breathe. So breathe in, and exhale on the exertion, push it out. Good. And breathe in and push out. We're gonna try five more. Up and down and up. Good. And push. And three more. Up and push. And two more. And push. And last one. Up and push. Good, let's bring that foot in, relax, uh, the tension in the band, foot comes down. Let's place the band behind us. 
All right. For those of you that are glutton for punishment and want to work uh, throwing an extra set, we're going to do another set of sit to stand. If you are too tired and you feel your form is going to suffer, then take a small break, grab a drink. Uh, but we're going to try to do a set of 10 sit to stands. We're going to end standing on the last one. All right. Arms close to the chest. Remember, try not to look down at the ground. Bring your chest down. Head and chest stay up. Feet out a little bit wider apart. Toes pointing forward. And we're going to push the weight through the heels to stand. And this time we're not going to come all the way back down to the chair. Uh, sitting in the chair. We're going to come down slowly close to the chair. And back up. And down almost to the chair. And back up. If you can only come down part way, that's fine. Maybe you can only come here and push back up. That's okay. Let's take it down. And up. Nice, slow tempo. Try not to walk the knees out when you come back to standing. So soft bend the knees still. Down. And up. Okay, we're gonna try four more. Down. And up. And three more. And up. And two more. And up. And last one down. And up. And we're going to stay standing. Let the arms come down to the side. And we'll bring the feet in a little bit closer. All right. If you haven't got, uh, grabbed a drink yet, grab another drink. We're going to work um, the outside muscles of the hips next. So we're going to call their hip abductors. I'm going to use the chair. I'm just showing you first um, proper form. So we're going to work right side first. We're going to be taking the leg, the right leg, straight out to the side and down. So try to avoid coming forward with the leg at the same time. We don't want to work the hip flexors necessarily. We want to stay back here. We want to come out to the side or slightly behind. You also want to avoid, and this is why we're going to use our chairs for balance, you also want to avoid tipping to the side, the upper body at the same time because we're getting no contraction through that hip muscle. All right? So hold on to the chair, nice and tall through the upper body, engage the core, the belly button spine, shoulders up, back and down. Let's take that right leg slowly out to the side and pause, come back down. And out. Try to avoid any momentum. So try not to kick it really quickly out. Slow control movement. Out. With a slight pause. And down. And out. And down. We're going to try five more of those. Out. And down. And four more. And down. And three. Down and two and down and last one and down. Good. All right, let's march down. So already you may be feeling it in the left side of the hip as well too. The left side of the hip is working to stabilize and keep you upright as the right leg went out. So this is an excellent exercise for the outside muscle of the hip. All right. We're going to do the left side again, nice and tall. Upright body, core is engaged, belly button spine, shoulders are up, back and down. Hold on to the chair to keep you from leaning. Let's take the left leg slowly to the side and down. Out. Nice and slow, controlled movement. Breathing in. Exhale on the exertion, blow it out. Breathing in and out. Good. Nice and slow. Try to avoid leaning. We're going to try to do five more. Out. And in. And out. And in. Okay, let's try to do three more. Out. And in. Two. Out. And in. And last one, taking it out. And in. Yeah, we're going to march it. All right, 
Let's do one more exercise standing and then we'll take it down to sitting again. So this one I'd like to work on the lower back and into the bottom, the top and the bottom uh, on each side. So we're gonna do what's called a hip extension. So you're gonna again be standing behind your chair. I need you to hold on to your chair. Nice and tall through the torso. We're not bending at the hips, bottom is tucked in. We're gonna take the right leg straight back and relax, all right? So what I need you to, to avoid doing in this one is tilting forward at the same time. We want a nice contraction through the back of the hip. Um, and sorry, the lower back and into the bottom. All right, so we're gonna try a set of 10 on each side. Let's take it back slowly, leg is straight, pause, and relax. And when you take the right leg back, contract the bottom, contract your buttocks on that side, and relax. And back, and relax. And try not to overarch the back, so not leaving back as well too. So nice neutral spine through the upper body. You're just taking the leg straight back. Try five more. Relax. And four. And relax. And three. And relax. And two. Relax. And last one. And relax. Good. All right. Other side. All the girls I, I talked to before. Stand for the side. Nice upright body. Um, try not to um, turn yourself bend at the, at the, um, at the hips. Right? Nice and tall. Take the left leg straight back. Contract the bottom on that side. And relax. And back. Breathing again. Lower down on the exertion. And again. Five, and relax. You should feel it in through the top of the bottom. Six, and relax. A little in through the lower back. And relax. Let's try four more. Taking it back, and relax. And three more, and relax. And two, and relax. And last one, and relax. Good, all right. Let's have a seat. We're gonna get off of our feet for a bit again. And I need you to grab your band, okay? So we're gonna do um, a, a back exercise. Okay. So, sitting in our seats, I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me. Sitting toward the front of the chair. Bands go underneath the arches of the feet. We're going to walk the feet out to the front so the legs are straight. Slight bend to the knees still. Torso is nice and tall, so stomach is in, shoulders are up, back and down. Elbows and arms stay close to the side. My hands are actually going to follow the seams of my pants. If I was wearing pants and not shorts, follow the seams of my pants. We're going to bring the elbows back. Shoulder blades come together to the waist. My hands up my waist and relax. And back slowly. Pause and relax. And you should feel your shoulder blades getting closer as you bring the bands back. And relax. And four, and relax, and five, and relax, six, and relax, seven, breathing in, blow it out on the exertion, eight, and relax, nine, and relax. And last one, 10, and relax. Good, all right. Oh, I was so strong, I broke my band. 
Time for an equipment order. All right. Um, let's take it into 1052. I'm going to take it into our stretching. All right. So it works major muscles of the body this morning hamstrings, quads, glutes, lower back, upper back, chest, um, our biceps and our triceps. We didn't focus on specifically, but they actually we worked them during the other compound movements that we did. So the row worked our biceps, the chest press worked our triceps. So there are a number of ways that you can work every muscle group in your body through a limited number of exercises. So now is the time to relax. I'm going to put um, some slow music on. Hold on to your chair with the right hand down to the side. Or you can just let the hand, the hand hang loose down to the side. We're going to tilt the left ear to the left shoulder slightly. So no more than 45 degrees, so no more than halfway. But you should feel a nice stretch through the side of the neck on the right side and into the top of the shoulder. We're going to hold that. will come up with both the hand and the arm and let's do the other side. So let the left arm hang, let, hang down loose to the side, tilt the right ear to the right shoulder slightly. You can even look slightly down toward the ground. Nice stretch through the left side of the neck, top of the shoulder. And this is your opportunity to relax. So nice controlled breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. We're going to bring the head and the arm back up. Let's take our palms out to the front. So my arms are straight out to the front. Palms face up toward the ceiling. We're going to take our thumbs back behind. Arms are about at shoulder height. Uh, back far enough that you feel a nice stretch through the chest. So I'm looking for a nice stretch in through the front of the shoulder into the chest. Don't take it so far back that it's uncomfortable. arms around the front slowly. We're going to clasp our hands out front, turn the palms away, take the, the hands away from the chest. So push the hands away from the chest, nice rounding of the upper back, shoulder blades are coming further apart from each other. So giving us a nice stretch through the upper back, in through the palms of the hands and through the forearms. So the muscles in the front of the hip, um, at the top of the thigh. You can come to half of your chair. If you feel your chair is stable, hopefully your chair is stable if you've been using it through the class. You're going to come to half of the chair. Take the right leg back behind. I'm going to show you. I'm going to come to the front of my chair as well. So you can come to the front, hold on to the back of the chair. Take the right leg back. Toes of the back leg are pointing back behind to give us a nice stretch through the shin. We're also feeling a nice stretch through the front of the thigh. If you're not, don't arch your back, but you can lean, keep the neutral spine, lean slightly back, and you should feel a stretch through the front of the thigh. And tuck your bottom in. Okay. And we're going to bring that leg slowly, uh, slowly forward, and we're going to pivot around to the other side. And Aaron is giving you an option, a standing option for this stretch. So if you want to watch Aaron do a standing option, that works as well too. I'm going to take the left leg back, nice and tall, pointing the back toe. Let's lean slightly back, getting a nice stretch through the front of the left thigh. Good. Bring that foot and that leg slowly forward. We're going to turn, face the front. Stretching the hamstring next, so sitting toward the front of the chair. Let's take the right leg out to the front. What is a neutral position? So ankles uh, not flexed, uh, flexed slightly in neutral position, so not toes pointing toward the chest. We're going to place the hands on the other thigh, nice and tall. Tilt forward at the hip. You should feel a nice stretch down through the back of the right leg. So try to avoid 
grounding. Work around your back. Nice neutral back, just tipping forward at the hip. And we'll come up slowly, bring that foot in. And we'll take the left leg out to the front. Nice and tall, hands on the other thigh. So hands on your right thigh. Tilt forward at the hip. Nice neutral flat back. Feel it stretch down through the back of the right leg. My ankle is in a neutral position. We're going to end with a nice calf stretch afterwards. Good. And come back up. Bring that foot in. We're going to get up slowly out of our chairs. Come around behind your chair. And our last stretch is for the calf muscles. So let's take a step back with the right foot. So right leg is going straight back. Heel is on the floor, toes are pointing forward. Left leg is lunging forward. You can drive the hips a little bit forward if you want a nice stretch. You need more of a stretch through that back, uh, back leg if you have. And we're gonna bring the feet together take it to the other side. So take a step back with the left foot. Heel is pressed to the floor. Toes are pointing forward. If you need more of a stretch, lunge. Drive the hips forward into more of a lunge on that forward leg. And you should feel, you should feel the stretch through the left calf. Good. And feet come together. All right. That, uh, is everything for today. Um, we're gonna turn it over to Aaron. It's almost 11 o'clock, so I wanna make sure people get out for Trudeau's announcements.